Okay, um, came up with something else. When I, I, I've mentioned before, I have hard water and it affects my mixed tank and that's a problem. Not only the pH, but the amount of dissolved calcium and everything else, blah, 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 blah. It's a pain in the butt. Um, I need to prep the water in advance to get any treatments to really, really blend before I start adding what I'm mixing. And that circulation takes time and it's kind of important and also I want to have the tank clean so I got a double headed connector that you should be able to see here and it's doing the job that in a ball valve now normally this is the drain and I can just open the ball valve to drain the tank but this allows me to fill the tank from underneath and it creates quite a bit of circulation so what I do first is I drop in, which, which ends up, that ends up, okay, citric acid. This container will have a measured amount of citric acid dissolved by volume into the container. And then based on the water, I'll add a volume into the tank. Okay, easy. I throw it in first. Now you're going to see, I hope you can, it's very dark. I got a lot of sunlight here, folks. But I'm pushing the water in from the bottom, and it's very turbulent. It's giving me a much better blend. When the water gets to enough of a depth, I don't know if you can see it in there. And there it is. There's my inductor style circulator, and that helps to keep the tank blended while I'm moving around. And I'll turn it on also. So I'm getting a lot of circulation in there. It's just another way of helping to rinse out the tank because I get a lot more turbulence this way. But also helping to blend the water in with any adjunct that I would be adding in first. Always have a little bit of water in the bottom. Remember your chemistry? Add thick to thin. Add acid to water just like you order. Okay, it applies here too. You don't want that thick stuff sticking to the tank. So have a little bit of water in the bottom, pour whatever you, you're going to blend in there, then turn on the water coming in, and you'll probably get a much happier blend. So, you know, little tips and tricks. I uh, don't know if it's relevant to you, but I'm going to share as I learn. Take care. Have a great day.